Now the age of the patient in this uh, ultrasound study is 60 years and the gallbladder has been surgically removed for polyethiasis three years back. What I am going to show you straight away uh, is the uh, dilated common bile duct, this case of obstructive jaundice. And uh, this is the uh, polar vein and this is the common bile duct. Okay, let's measure it. See, it's dilated up to 26.7 mm. Significantly dilated. And uh, here are the dilated intrahepatic bile ducts as well. Yeah, here. See the dilated ducts? These are all, here what you are seeing is all dilation of the intrahepatic bile ducts. And uh, they reach up to the periphery of the liver. See, significant dilation of the intrahepatic bile duct and uh, they are dilated at all levels and they reach the periphery of the liver and the common bile duct measures in length approximately 9.6 centimeters. It's important to give this to the surgeon so as he will uh, decide the surgical plan. Now, is it really a CBD or uh, some other structure? Is this really a portal vein or some other structure? You can see that. Here we are. And you know very well that uh, this is the uh, This is the photo vein because it's uh, red in color as you are seeing and uh, the blood flow is seen within it. Now this tubular structure is common by the and we do not see any flow within it, no doubt about that. Not only that, uh, now when I come to the transfer section of the uh, at the and place the probe transversely. This is the part of the dilated uh, CBD. This is a small lymph node at the parasitic, uh, at the region of the uh, parasitic plant. And here I'm going to show you uh, the, see the dilated duct of the pancreas. Now, this is the uh, CBD. This is the aorta. This is superior mesentery artery. The panic vein, a superior mesenteric vein, and this is the splenic vein. Now, this tubular structure, now from here to here, this is the pancreas. Remember, this outer ecogenic border is that of the pancreas, this lower ecogenic border is that of the pancreas in transverse section, and uh, this tubular structure is the pancreatic duct which at the region of the body measures 6.6 .6 at the region of the head of the pancreas 10.9 so it's a, uh, I mean significantly dilated pancreatic duct okay now in longitudinal section this is the pancreatic head in uh, longitudinal section this one this area is the pancreatic head this one, this is the pancreatic duct and the pancreatic duct is, and the region of the uh, head of the pancreas may use 8.2 mm. Now the cause of all these is this mass, the solid mass is regularly outlined this one. This is a mass relating to the head of the pancreas and uh, or enter of the water and this is the uh, mass, this area. Mayors. Now the mass relating to the head of the pancreas is hypochoic in, uh, and uh, measures 3.9 into 3.4 centimeters. 
and this is the basic culprit leading to all the above mentioned uh, findings that I have shown you. Here is the mass, and it does not show any vascularity, or does it? No. No significant vascularity is seen relating to the mass. Yeah, this is the mass. Now you see this tubular structure should also be seen, whether it's a vessel or uh, you know, maybe uh, uh, if it is a duct, it will not take uh, uh, show any blood supply. Here we are. See the duct, eight minute by eight minute. Now the ductal portion. This is the pancreas. And the duct, this is uh, the tubular structure, does not show any blood flow with an egg, so it is a, a pancreatic duct. And this is the mass, this is, and this is the mesenteric artery, aorta. This is our case of the day. Thank you very much.